Question 39. The organism in the photo is a Daphnia or water flea. So this is a water flea, guys. Daphnia are tiny aquatic organisms that live in most freshwater habitats. Adults range from less than one to five millimeters in length. It's like they're really tiny. <laughs> like they're tiny. Okay, they're not big. They're microscopic almost. You can see them. They're so tiny it's better. This picture was taken with a microscope. They are good swimmers. Okay. They eat mostly algae. Okay. Daphne become mature at five to ten days. Oh, so they really mature quickly. Think about us. We don't become mature till we're 21. That's 21 years, not five to ten days. So they mature quickly. All right. An adult female can produce up to 100 eggs every three to four days during its two-month lifespan. So they only live for two months. But during that two months, the female can make a hundred eggs, so a hundred new babies every three to four days. Or offspring. Every three to four days. Oh my. Alright. So, now let's see what they really want to know from us. So it says, what characteristic of the Daphnia, or the water flea, allows the population to adapt to environmental change? So the population are just all of the water fleas in the area, right? So how do they adapt to changes in their environment? So their water, so changes in temperature, changes in acidity, changes in... Um, temperature, things like that, that they have to adapt to. So what could help it adapt? Well, if you think about adaptations, in general, adaptations take many generations. Okay. It take decades, it could take centuries for us to adapt to an environmental change. Okay, but these guys, they adapt quickly, it says, right? Now, what help would help them adapt to environmental change? Well, if you're looking at them, they have many generations in, in, a, in days, I mean, in weeks. So, in other words, uh, they could adapt to changes because they... They have offspring so frequently, and if something in the offspring is uh, tolerant to the environmental change, of course, that organism would survive and could pass that genetic information on to its offspring. So having babies ever that frequently is probably one of the reasons they might be able to adapt. So let's see what it says. So it's short generation time. It's short generation time just means that it has babies frequently or offspring frequently and that's true we know that to be true so that is very likely a possibility it's small size what small size wouldn't affect if it could uh, adapt to environmental change the size has nothing to do with being able to adapt its freshwater environment, well, that's where it lives. That has nothing to do with its ability to adapt. And its herbivorous diet, meaning that it eats only plants, well, how does that help it adapt? The only thing that helps it adapt is that it has babies very frequently. So we're going to go with answer choice A.